What up homies? Lucy here bringing you a video about how to deal with Uber Sung Lee without dying. In today's video we're going to go into detail about all of his mechanics and how to avoid them while still dealing damage so that you can know what to expect and easily beat him yourself. Now first things first, we need to find an eternal battlefield portal. It's just going to be a red icon either on your minimap or map. As you get close to it, it'll start to expand and spawn a bunch of mobs. Each of these mobs has a chance to drop battle fragments. Once it's reached its maximum size, it'll start to contract back down to its normal size. Once you have uh, achieved 50 battle fragments, you will be able to enter the eternal battlefield where you can find Uber Sung Lee. So we're going to get right into it. Confirm on this message. Make sure you have 50 battle frags or it's not going to let you in. Now what we're going to have to do, you can choose to clear the mobs or not clear the mobs. It's completely up to you. I personally don't think they're worth it. I will kind of kill some as I go by. Not like haunted mobs, not really, but we're just looking for the button to unlock his room. It's going to be a blue thing on the ground. You just keep walking around, walking around until we find it. This is his room right here. It's going to be closed off by the door though. And here is the blue button. Once we do this, we'll get put into a cutscene because it's going to show us the doors opening down here. This will give us access to Sung Lee and he has a whopping 551 million life. Now it does seem like a lot, but if you're a very end game build, especially as a butcher, that's not really going to be a problem for you. Now, also, if you do have teleport, you can bypass the button. You can just teleport right in. I don't use teleport, and plenty of people don't. Now that he's spawned, he's going to summon his weapon. You're going to want to sidestep it because he just throws it straight out. His earthquake, you will want to jump for. If you're staying on the ground during his earthquake, he will destroy you. His reign of doom, just don't stand in one spot. That's not that hard to avoid. And then avoid his attacks again, earthquake. And he'll just repeat these same attacks. Summon weapon, Earthquake, Summon weapon, Reign of Doom. For, per, for putting down my Hydras, I usually wait for Reign of Doom to refresh them because that's the easiest time to not get hit by any mechanics. Earthquake again, we jump. Summon weapon, Avoid, and then he will Reign of Doom and I will start replacing Hydras because I can move while placing them. I get real close when he's not summoning his weapon. I back up while he's summoning his weapon. This allows my aura to continue to do Fire Break. If you're other classes, you know, this is where you get close. If you're like a butcher, you have a pretty big AoE, but you're going to do more damage standing close. And then he'll do Earthquake again. And it's just real simple avoiding these same four, technically three mechanics, but he, he does summon weapon twice. Then he'll summon his weapon again. Earthquake. Now, Earthquake, if you don't jump, will summon a, like, thing underneath you does a lot of damage. I have died to it before. I probably won't die at this HP, but I'm just not going to risk it. And just for reference, I am doing this on a full VIP build, so I have less damage so that you could get a good look at the mechanics and how much they repeat. Super easy to avoid. Another earthquake. Even my Merc isn't dying while fighting him. He's doing that little amount of damage. And he's about to die here, and then you get your loots, because H5 will always drop something. And just like that, you too can conquer Sung Lee on H5, even if you have really low damage. 